So here's just a thought for the day about how we think and how horizontal communication can change the way that we see the world. So one of the big um, battles at the moment is around neurodiversity and disability. So with most of us in a vertical way of thinking and communicating, only one person can be right, and that's the person on top. And there's a constant struggle around who's going to be on top. So we've got, let's say, if we're looking at um, autism and ADHD as examples of neurodiversity, you'll have one camp saying this is merely neurodiversity. There's absolutely nothing to fix and don't other us and don't, um, don't suggest that there's anything wrong with us. We want acceptance. And then you'll have another camp saying this is a disease called autism or ADHD. Uh, we need a cure, we need medication, we need therapy, we will fix you and this will be for your own good. Then you've got another camp saying this is a social disability for either of these. It's all about how you're treated, it's about society not being set up for you and um, we need to change the environment so that you will be fully abled. Um, you can see that obviously these have got a lot of overlap but I'm still going to separate them into four camps for this purpose. And then the fourth camp would be for somebody to say, you know, I am struggling um, with my ADHD or my autism. I need some kind of support, um, whichever one of those it may be, um, whether it's um, social support in terms of changing my environment, whether it's about some kind of therapy, whether it's about some kind of medication. Um, what a person is self-identifying as being in need of support. So when we are in that who's right game, it becomes a very, very stressful experience and everyone is competing um, or feeling beaten. <laughs> so you have um, some autistic people complaining that they do want um, assistance, they feel severely disabled and why are some people, um, other autistics um, speaking on their behalf saying that there's nothing to fix when there is and then we've got um, you know, other people saying, you know, it, it's 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 all about the way that we're being othered, and essentially it just turns into a great big fight, which works everybody at cross purposes. It's very energy inefficient, and it doesn't really make anybody happy, and it makes it very difficult to advance any one of those positions for the betterment of everyone. If we've um, all heard about the wise or the blind men and the elephant. Um, yeah, if you haven't heard that, maybe go look it up. But essentially, when we come to horizontal communication, we don't start from an assumption that one of these positions must be right. We start from an assumption that everybody is right. That it's simply that one person has a hold of the elephant's trunk, one person has a hold of the elephant's leg, one person has a hold of the elephant's tail, one person has a hold of the elephant's ear. And essentially everybody has got their own experience and their own experience is real and valid. So the parent who's really really struggling with a neurodiverse child um, needs support whether or not the child feels that they need support um, and there is value in all of these perspectives and the real value would come from them working together in a win-win way. The critical thing is that we don't have somebody imposing their view on anybody else. So you don't have somebody saying to somebody else, I have diagnosed you, therefore you are deficient in some way and I will now fix you. You also don't ha have somebody saying, there is nothing wrong with you, you may not get any support because you are fine exactly as you are. What we have when we are in horizontal communication and very much in self-directed um, education is we have a situation where we say for each individual what is your truth and what is it that you need. So it's very usual in self-directed education for people to maybe not need anything um, because that social socially disabling environment isn't there because people are empowered to change their own environments um, and to create the respect and support they need. <clears throat> so you'll find a number of people um, with autism or ADHD who move into 
uh, self-directed education will find that their medication was really there to help them interface with an environment that didn't work for them or to satisfy, satisfy other people's ideas of who they should be. But that is not to say that somebody in self-directed education cannot get therapy or medication once they themselves identify as feeling that that will be helpful for them. Um, and that's where I think that this really offers a beautiful way to um, resolve the battle that sees very little get done because resources are divided and competing against each, against each other um, towards a world where we can hopefully collaborate in meeting each person's individual needs and acknowledging every perspective as valid without needing to compete. So yeah, that's the thought for the day. I'd love to hear what you think. Feel free to leave a respectful comment below, whatever your perspective may be.